you turn you turn your wrist. So I'm going to use the coarsest stone just a little bit more. Can you just have a rotate? Is it better doing one on each as opposed to five on five? That you'll have to find your own hand. Okay. Sorry? Better to do one. Do this way. Make sure it's balanced. Some people like to do it like this. You know, like this, and then they don't remember how many they've done each time. Right. <laughs> but, but the thumb, the index finger here serves as the break. Right. So now it's the only thing that's going to happen the back of it will slide into my finger. Take it the other way around, you don't want to break it. Yes. Away from you. That way, but, when you, but you bring it back towards you, that Yes, way. that's where you have to be careful. So some people will have to keep their thumbs out of this, um, out of range. And at some point, where some <laughs> it's going to be the range. How long does it take to chop a rack like this? Well, this is going to take longer because you're all going to get a chance to. <laughs> and the sound that you make, you're hearing is what? Metal scraping against the sun. Metal coming off the sun. Right? But it comes off very, very small amounts. Yeah, what about a 10 degree angle, looks like? And what's the point of the water? Sorry, it acts as sort of the lubricant and removes the pieces of metal that are coming off. And again, you don't want it too hot, you don't want it too cold. You might have to do it more vigorously, depending on, again, your individual hand.